Good morning, and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Wednesday, May 6th. Uh, and we are continuing with suffrages or responsive prayer found in the ELW, the Cranberry Hymnal. Uh, and we are on page 328 if you have one at home and you are following along at home. Otherwise, you can just keep up just fine, I'm sure. Uh, we are beginning with a song, and our song this week is Now Behold the Lamb. And that is hymn number 341 if you are using a hymnal. If not, you'll be able to catch the tune in the words real easy, I promise. Uh, and we will sing the first verse through twice. Now behold the Lamb, the precious Lamb of God, who bore all my sin that I may live again, the precious Lamb of God. Now behold the Lamb, the precious Lamb of God, who bore all my sin that I may live again, the precious Lamb of God. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You are invited to confess the faith of the Church using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into God's presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is God who made us, and we are the Lord's. We are God's people and the sheep of God's pasture. Enter the Lord's gates with thanksgiving and God's courts with praise. Give thanks to God. Bless God's name. For the Lord is good. God's steadfast love endures forever. And God's faithfulness to all generations. And our reading for this morning comes from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verses 1 through 8. Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who shepherd my people, it is you who have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them, so I will attend to you for your evil doings, says the Lord. Then I myself will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the lands where I have driven them, and I will bring them back to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will raise up shepherds over them who will shepherd them, and they shall not fear any longer or be dismayed, nor shall any be missing, says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. Therefore, the days are surely coming, says the Lord, when it shall no longer be said, as the Lord lives who brought the people Israel up out of the land of Egypt, but as the Lord lives who brought out and led the offspring of the house of Israel out of the land of the north and out of all the lands where God had driven them. Then they shall live in their own land. O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. 
Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation. O hope of all the ends of the earth and of the seas that are far away. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. You redeem my life from the grave and crown me with mercy and steadfast love. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. This is a prayer that is attributed to Julian of Norwich. In you, Father Almighty, we have our preservation and our bliss. In you, Christ, we have our restoring and our saving. You are our mother, brother, and savior. In you, our Lord, the Holy Spirit is marvelous and plenteous grace. You are our clothing. For love, you wrap us and embrace us. You are our maker, our lover, our keeper. Teach us to believe that by your grace all shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.